Oh, hello again and welcome to the VK6CS Amateur Radio or Fun with Amateur Radio channel. Now um, this is a uh, this is a communications mast. So as you can see at the bottom there, there's no uh, there's no requirement to uh, have a have a big insulator at the bottom of the mast because the mast is sitting on a block of concrete. And we've got these uh, these earth straps here uh, going down into the uh, going down into the ground. And uh, if we look up the mast. You can see up the top there, there's some dish antennas. Uh, the, the one on the left hand side is called a grid pack because it's got a sort of grid type construction which allows the air to blow through it, the wind to blow through it. And there's a couple of uh, other microwave dishes right up the top there. Now uh, what's, uh, what you might find interesting about this is um, it's got on these, uh, on the guys here, there's uh, there's two guys on each on on each um, corner of the tower. It's got three corners. It's a triangular tower. Um, unlike uh, unlike most of the masts that have got. Uh, I'll show you a bit more of the scenery again. Let's just walk back here. This is where I was on the uh, on the previous video or the next video, depending on which order I uh, put these on uh, put these on the uh, on the channel. But there we go. All the fog, all the clouds have all cleared. People that know anything about radio will know this is an excellent VHF UHF site. You can see for miles from here. And, uh, just go over to one of the uh, one of the anchor blocks for this uh, particular mast. And uh, there we go. As you can see, they're fairly uh, fairly substantial uh, guy wire guy wire anchors or uh, turnbuckles holding all these steel wires. These are in very good condition. I think this one's been re-guyed fairly recently. Sometimes you get a lightning ping, the uh, the galve comes off of these and they get a bit rusty. But these are all fine. And if we look up the mast, like that, you can see there's two of them. I can't zoom this, I'm doing it with my iPhone. If I had the other camera I could zoom it. But you can see these these guy wires here, just between these two guy wires here. They go up to the top of the tower and there's a sort of uh, structure at the top. And that's the same for each of the three corners of the tower. And the reason for that is that the, uh, the wind loading on the tower and on the dish antennas, etc., um, can cause the, a mast to twist. So uh, this guying arrangement prevents the mast from, uh, from twisting. So that's, uh, that's what that's all about. And uh, well, there's just one more thing I'll, I'll, I must show you before I finish this very short video. It's a beautiful day for uh, working up at the top of a hill. And for those of you outside of Australia, believe it or not, this is winter. This would be uh, the equivalent of the last day of the first month of winter in the UK, which is probably so. It's probably the equivalent of the 30th of November. <laughs> and uh, over here on the bottom of the mast. Let's put my hand in here for scale. There you go. So you can see how big this thing is. Probably a metre by a metre by a metre this mast. Might be a little bit more. Down here, there's a bit of a, you can see that? There's a bit of barbed wire there. And that little bit of barbed wire just wrapped around there. It's hard to believe, but that will stop anybody uh, from uh, climbing the mast and carrying out any vandalism. Which is, uh, which is fortunate really, isn't it? And there's all the feeders. There's all the feeders going up and up and up. All right, well, uh, there's an eagle up there. I don't know if be able to see that. It's probably a, uh, probably a decent span on that bird. That's probably a wedgie. That's probably a couple of meter wingspan up there. Oh, I wish I had the other camera. I can't even see if I've got it in frame because I'm using the iPhone and uh, it's quite a bright day and the LCD display just looks pretty much black to me. All right, well, there you go. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. I'll, uh, I'll catch you next time.